One of the top requests for rings that I get from clients are oval cut diamond rings, especially with my signature seamless halo design on it. Now, this is an example of that. So I just had one of my clients Christine reach out about a month ago and we created this design for her. And so she actually said in a note to me, uh, she wrote, we have gone to a couple different places and some of the settings we were previously interested in didn't quite look as expected in person as we saw online. They just didn't feel like the one. We have a general idea of what our ideal ring would look like through these past experiences though. A seamless halo, micro pave band that's not too thin nor too thick for my petite finger the perfect oval shaped diamond that sparkles at every angle with minimal bow tie effect. So perfect, given her description, I know exactly what it is that she's looking for. So I do wanna cover a few points that she had mentioned in that initial email that she sent on the contact page of our website. She said that uh, a lot of the rings that she was seeing online didn't quite match up when she saw them in person. So one thing to keep in mind when choosing any ring online is that a lot of the designs that you're seeing are not actual pictures of the ring, the final result. They're just CAD renderings or computer renderings of the ring. So that's something that you have to keep in mind because what you don't want is what looks perfect on the screen, the final result when someone's making it, the, the lines, the angles, the quality of the center diamond, they're not quite the same. So whenever you're choosing to go to a certain jeweler, uh, whether that's me or anyone else, you wanna make sure that you've seen examples of the quality of their final result because that's really what's gonna determine how sparkly and how gorgeous it looks on your finger. And we want, when you get this ring, to be blown away. That's my goal. I want every single one of my clients to say, I literally can't stop staring at my ring. I just, I cannot stop staring at it. It's so sparkly and so gorgeous. So this is what I hope is gonna be the result with Christine's ring. She has a very small ring size, so I'm just gonna put that on my pinky. And take a look at this. I just finished setting the center diamond and I'm a master diamond setter by trade. I absolutely love setting diamond rings for clients all over the world. And Christine is my latest client. I'm so excited for her to receive this. And as you can see, this is a 1.28 carat center diamond on the finger. It, everything has been created to be in proportion with the center diamond that she chose. So I selected from many, many, many diamonds on her behalf the top three for her to choose from, and then she chose her favorite one. And that allows her to feel like she has a lot of options, but not overwhelmed, because I look through and do all the hard work on her behalf behind the scenes. It's one of my favorite things to do, and it doesn't cost anything extra for my clients. I love that part of it. And I mean, I get to play with diamonds all day, so <laughs> I really can't complain looking through a bunch of diamonds on behalf of my client. But it's so fun to then present my favorite top three, and then she just gets wowed. And then it's, it's, like, it's actually a hard choice because they're all three beautiful. And when it comes to ovals, there are different things you have to look at. Now, I've made several different videos on oval cut diamonds for what to look for when it comes to the diamond. So with respect to this particular ring, she mentioned that she didn't want any bow tie effect, which we generally tend to stay away from with the diamonds that I'm showing my clients anyway, but that was a specific request. I know that she wanted it super sparkly, which also sometimes my clients don't ask for that, but I know that that's what they want. So of course I take that into consideration when choosing stones. And another thing that a clients ask for that, um, or actually don't ask for all the time is they don't ask that it be faced up as large as possible while still remain retaining all that sparkle. They often just think an oval cut diamond that's one and a half carat size is an oval cut diamond at one and a half carat. And that's not true. I have a video you should definitely watch on two oval cut diamonds side by side that uh, one faces up huge and one just pales in comparison. So take a look at that, especially with regards to oval cuts and cushion cuts. That's another size when it comes to um, face up size. You just don't always get what you think you should get as far as how it looks on the finger. So this is an example of a 1.28. It faces up huge, but it sparkles incredibly. I mean, this is not the kind of diamond you just pick up online. It's a lot of times people think they can just go online and pick a diamond and it's going to be the most beautiful one. There are so many factors to look through. I mean, I had to look through many to find this one and it's at, it's at a great price point for the size that this is. So I'm really excited for how it turned out. All the diamonds have been set so close together to maximize the brilliance of the entire setting and to ensure that she only sees sparkle and none of those dark gaps in between the center diamonds because a lot of mass manufactured rings, the diamonds are spaced a little further apart. And whereas when with a custom ring, I can take every allowance to make sure that every diamond is at super close together because I'm gonna be doing it and I can do it one at a time for my clients knowing that 
I know their face. I know I asked for a photo of my clients because I like to know who this ring is going to be made for. And it just adds an extra level of um, accountability for me to make an amazing ring for you. And sometimes my clients quite often actually share their story and of how they met and just makes me want to do right by her, you know, just do a great job that I can be proud of with my work as the artist and also that she can be proud of as the one wearing it and even him so he can be proud of giving it to her. You know, the ring needs to be worthy of who their future bride is. So that's why I'm so excited by how this turned out. So if you're looking to create your very own custom diamond ring, I would love to create it for you. I assume if you've gotten this far, you're very interested in oval cut halo rings. So that is one of my favorite types of designs to make and I source beautiful oval cut diamonds. So check out the studio online, vanessanicole.com and I would love to hear more about what you're looking to create and I would love to exceed your expectations. I create rings for clients all over the world, so I'd love to hear from you too. All right, talk to you later, bye-bye.